What if the biggest moment in cosmic history wasn't a bang at all? What if the universe never exploded from a single point? And what if the picture we've all been taught since school is fundamentally wrong? When most people hear the words Big Bang, they imagine a violent explosion, matter blasting outward into empty space like a cosmic bomb going off at the beginning of time. It's a powerful image, it's dramatic, and it's almost completely wrong. In fact, that mental picture is so misleading that most modern physicists actively avoid using it because the real story of the universe's origin isn't loud or explosive. It's subtle, strange, and far more unsettling than an explosion ever could be. For most of human history, the universe didn't need a beginning at all. Ancient civilizations looked to the sky and saw something eternal. The Greeks debated whether the cosmos had always existed. Eastern philosophies imagined cycles of creation and destruction stretching infinitely into the past and future. Even early scientists were comfortable with an eternal universe. Isaac Newton, whose laws of motion shaped physics for centuries, believed the universe was infinite in space and timeless in duration. In his view, stars extended endlessly in all directions, balanced perfectly so gravity wouldn't cause everything to collapse inward. But this comforting picture hid a fatal flaw. If the universe were truly infinite and eternal, then no matter where you looked in the sky, your line of sight should eventually end on a star. The night sky should glow with uniform brightness, as bright as the surface of the sun. And yet, when we look up at night, we see darkness. That darkness was a clue. Something about the universe was wrong. The solution didn't arrive quietly. It came in the early 20th century when Albert Einstein fundamentally rewrote our understanding of reality. Einstein showed that space and time are not separate things ticking away independently. They are fused into a single entity space-time. In this new picture, gravity is not a mysterious force pulling objects together. It's the curvature of space-time itself. Massive objects like stars and galaxies bend space-time, and everything else simply follows those curves. When Einstein applied his equations to the universe as a whole, he discovered something deeply uncomfortable. A universe filled with matter could not remain static, the equations demanded motion. Either the universe had to be expanding or collapsing. At first, even Einstein resisted this idea. He adjusted his equations to keep the universe still, but nature didn't cooperate. Astronomers soon began noticing something extraordinary. When they studied distant galaxies, they found that almost all of them were moving away from us. Even more shocking, the farther away a galaxy was, the faster it appeared to be receding. This wasn't because we were at the center of the universe. It was because space itself was stretching. Every region of the universe was moving away from every other region at the same time. The universe was expanding. And once you accept that, a haunting implication follows naturally. If the universe is expanding today, then in the past it must have been smaller, hotter, denser. Run the clock far enough backward and everything we see today, galaxies, stars, atoms, would have been packed into an incredibly compact state. This idea became known as the Big Bang. But here's where the misunderstanding begins. The Big Bang does not describe matter exploding into pre-existing space. There was no center, no edge, no outward blast. Space itself was already there, and it was expanding everywhere at once. Every point moved away from every other point. The universe didn't expand into anything. Expansion was something space itself was doing. As scientists explored this early hot universe, the theory began making shockingly precise predictions. If the universe started hot and dense, certain nuclear reactions should have occurred in the first few minutes forging the simplest atomic nuclei. Hydrogen, helium, a trace of lithium. 
When astronomers measured the composition of the universe billions of years later, the ratios matched perfectly. The theory predicted something else, too. If the early universe was once filled with intense light, that light should still exist today, stretched and cooled by billions of years of expansion. It should appear as a faint, uniform glow coming from every direction in the sky. And when scientists looked, it was there. This ancient light, known as the cosmic microwave background, is often called the baby picture of the universe. It's a snapshot of the cosmos when it was just 380,000 years old. But this triumph revealed a deeper problem. The universe was too perfect. The temperature of this ancient light was nearly identical in all directions. Space itself appeared almost perfectly flat. The early universe looked remarkably smooth and orderly, far more than the original Big Bang model could explain. Something was missing. Then came one of the most radical ideas in modern physics. What if the universe didn't begin with matter or light at all? What if it began with empty space? Not truly empty, but filled with an invisible quantum field carrying enormous energy. For a fleeting moment, this energy caused space itself to expand at an unimaginable rate, faster than light, faster than anything we can directly observe. In a tiny fraction of a second, the universe grew by an enormous factor, smoothing out irregularities, flattening space, and placing distant regions in causal contact. This brief, violent growth spurt is called inflation. During inflation, tiny quantum fluctuations, random variations at the smallest scales, were stretched across the universe. These microscopic ripples became the seeds of galaxies, stars, and cosmic structure. And then inflation ended. When it did, the energy stored in that field didn't disappear, it transformed. It converted into particles and radiation, filling the universe with matter and light. That transformation, that release of energy, is what we call the Big Bang. So what actually banged? Not matter, not space, but energy itself converting into everything we see. And here's the strangest part of all. Inflation may not end everywhere at once. While it stopped here, giving rise to our observable universe, it may still be happening elsewhere. Other regions of space may still be inflating, endlessly spawning new universes beyond our cosmic horizon. If that's true, then our universe is just one bubble in a vast, possibly infinite multiverse. So let's return to the questions we started with. Was the Big Bang an explosion? No. Did the universe explode from a point? No. Was it the beginning of everything? Not necessarily. The Big Bang was the beginning of our observable universe, a transition, not a creation event, a moment when energy became matter, when structure became possible, and when the cosmos as we know it began to take shape. And the deeper we look, the clearer it becomes. The universe didn't start with a bang. It started with a transformation.